back to my channel. So I wanted to do a quick little haul for you guys today. Um, I did a little bit of shopping at the thrift store and St. Vincent de Paul today. And I found a few pieces. Not a lot. Not as many as I typically find. Um, because like I said, I actually do have a lot of inventory that hasn't been listed yet. But I do want to consistently source on a weekly basis because there's times where I can list multiple items at a time and I'm trying to keep a certain amount of inventory in my eBay store on a weekly basis. So as customers buy, I have to make sure that I'm replenishing those items that have been sold. So let's just get right to it. Um, the first few items that I found were a few pair of sunglasses. Now, I don't know why I've become obsessed with the sunglasses section of the store. I don't know if it's because I've been finding some good scores or, you know, recently, but I, I just don't know why, like, I have to search the sunglasses. And so, um, I ended up going to the sunglasses area and I found, I don't know if you're going to be able to see these. These are Emporio Armani. So this is, I found this at the same place where I found the Armani Exchange sunglasses, which I think Armani Exchange is a um, smaller brand or a um, a more generic brand for the Armani manufacturer company, manufacturing company. So this may be a, a better quality. Not sure. I'm going to have to do a little bit of research. And I'm not sure if these are polarized sunglasses or prescription like you probably can, I don't know, you probably can see. So they look like they could be possibly prescription. But I did get an inquiry from one of my customers asking was one of my pair of sunglasses polarized. So I'm going to do a little bit of research to see whether this is prescription or polarized. Now if this is prescription, I'm probably not going to try to resell it because I'm not a, you know, optical specialist or anything like that. I don't want to resell something that I'm not familiar with. But they were 99 cents, and if they are polarized, you know, I can still pull them up. And they, you know, give me a good return on my investment. The next pair of sunglasses are just some Star Wars sunglasses. And um, I try to pick up Star Wars products when I can. Um, one, and the reason why, not because, and I actually still have a few Star Wars items in my store that haven't been purchased, but... One particular item that I got maybe a month or two ago, it was a Star Wars women's blazer. And I purchased it for like $1.50, I want to say. And it sold for like, I want to say 20 something with shipping. And it sold like right away. I put it on there within uh, the few hours it sold. So I know that there are a lot of Star Wars fans out there. But I also know that there's a lot of products um, online from resellers that can be purchased through eBay. So I don't go store crazy, um, when I'm purchasing, um, Star Wars items, but these were 99 cent. So I thought I would pick them up and actually the, the, um, handles are a little loose. I'm going to get an eyeglass cleaner. Um, you can get that from the dollar store, which I'm going to need one anyway, because I've been getting a lot of sunglasses. And when you have a little bit of a wear and tear on the sunglasses, you can just um, clean up your sunglasses and repair them with that eyeglass kit that you can buy for a dollar at the dollar store. So I'm going to pick up one of those and try to tighten up the the handles um, on these sunglasses. So got those for 99 cents. And then I got this next pair of sunglasses. And the reason why I picked these up was because of the design. And um, just like the Viceroy's um, that I picked up the other day, these are um, very good quality. You know, they're very, they're bendable. They don't, you know, feel cheap. And also they have a very good um, pattern and design. So whoever designed these took the time to develop this intricate detail. So I figured this might be worth something. And this is a Gino. I don't know if you can see it, but it's called Jean, Jean Reno by Sindrin. Um, And when I looked up the comps for these, these were a pretty, pretty decent price. Selling for like $39. There were some brand new ones for 100 and something. So I'm going to price them based off the average um, completion and solds. Um, once I do a little more research on what they are. But $0.99, cents, I didn't want to pass it up. Even if I only get $14.99 for these three pair, it's still a good profit. A good turnaround for the investment. 
Um, the next few items, and I found a few vintage pieces today. I don't know why I was on a vintage, <laughs> um, I don't know, tangent. But before I show you those, I'm going to show you these Charles Davids that I found. Just some Charles David slide-in sandals. And um, these are size 36. And um, I discovered Charles David when I actually found a Charles David purse. What made me research that item was the quality of the purse. The quality of the purse was very soft le leather, very good quality. So in being a reseller, I know that there's not just um, certain brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci. There are other very good brands, very good high designer brands that are out there, but you just have to be interested in researching. So... I discovered Charles David, and I don't know if he's a, you know, he or she is a design, you know, higher designer uh, brand, but they do have good quality products. So I like to pick up their products when I see them, if they're at a reasonable price. These shoes were only $249, so I'm sure that I will get um, a good return on investment. So I picked up these pair of Charles Davids for $249, so I thought those were a good purchase. I also purchased these, I know that I'm not going to pronounce them right, but I think they're called Nokinas. And they are, I don't know if you can see the stamp on the shoe. These are genuine leather. And they're a size 36. The reason why I picked these up was because you can tell by the stitching that this is a good quality shoe. The brand, the stamp. Uh, the branding, the logo on the side, they put a lot of intricate detail into the shoe. So I was curious about what the comps would look like. And the I didn't find a lot of comps, but the ones that I did find were like, these were pre-owned, selling for like $40, $50. So I picked these up. I think these were, I'll say $2.99. Yeah, $2.99 I paid. So $2.99 I paid for these. So I'm looking to get, and as I stated before, my average selling price is $14. So even if I'm paying this amount, and I do I don't do free shipping. So um even if I get at least, you know, maybe $20 for these shoes, I will be satisfied with that. But I'm not gonna price them at $20. Of course, I'm gonna price them at what the completion comps are. Um, and then the next item that I found was vintage. I thought this was very unique, you know, and I'm gonna show you what caused me to drew my eye to this. This actually was open and hanging up on the hook just like this. And I was like, wow, what is that? So it's basically a, a double-sided mirror sticking out of the purse. And it is attached to the purse. And so initially, I thought this was Louis Vuitton. I don't know if you can see. You won't probably won't be able to see it. But, um, but this is Louis Taylor. Louis Taylor. And it's made in Italy. So when I looked up the comps on these, these are good. This is a good completion and good sold on that, this too. I think these were like 40, 50, some were even um, of greater uh, retail price. Um, so I thought I would get this. This has the Louis Taylor um, logo at the on the front. And this is a vintage product. And it feels like it could be with real leather. Now, I couldn't find a tag on it. But... Um, I think someone's going to definitely purchase this product because, for one, um, just by that double-sided mirror alone, I think someone's going to be interested in, in purchasing this. And so I paid, um, this was priced at $4.99 with half off. So I paid about $2.50. So it's worth the risk. I, you know, I have a budget that I, as long as I stick to my budget, I know that, um, and my budget is probably usually about $20 um, per store. And sometimes even less than that, twenty dollars per store. Um, and so, if I get a certain amount of items, I know that typically at least one of my items, once they sell, they will bring up, they will basically make up the amount of investment that I um, purchased per store, or the amount of investment that I put into each store. So, if this item sells at twenty, like twenty twenty nine dollars or something like that, the amount that I purchased. Um, for today's haul will be paid for. So I'm not worried about 
get in return of my investment. Sometimes I will get things that I'm not sure is going to sell. But as long as I know that I have other great pieces that I know for sure are going to sell within that haul, I'll take the risk. Because you just never know with reselling. People, they, you know, they are interested in things that you may never, you know, imagine. So this item I got, and honestly, guys, I found another one of these before. But the reason I didn't get it was just because I was skeptical and because this is more of a specific um, item that people are looking for during specific times in their life. And so I actually wish I would have had one of these. And it's basically a Victoria's Secret bride-to-be hoodie. And I, I wanted one of these on my um, wedding day. And it has the little ring. And the reason why I got this one is because it has the ring. The other one I got was more... I don't think it was as intricate. And it just has the Victoria's Secret. I do Victoria's Secret logo. And $4.99. So these, I, I doubt that I will get less than $20 for this. And I pay $2.50. So just the Victoria's Secret, I do. And it's in good condition. It's still clean. So for $2.50, I know I'm going to resell it. Somebody's going to buy this because Victoria's Secret always has these up. For sale, but they, you know, when you're doing a wedding, that is one of your most frugal times and where you're looking to, like, save the most. For me, it was. And so, uh, you know, if someone scores that for $20, a little bit, even a little bit more, because they are very costly in the actual Victoria's Secret store. So, I picked that up. Um, the next item I picked up was a J. Crew blazer. And it's very it's a Taylor J J Crew blazer, and I typically find either J Crew or Banana Republic at the store. It's a size six, and this was two ninety nine with half off, so I paid a dollar fifty for this. And this is going to easily sell. I usually price my blazers at nineteen ninety nine. I'll look at the comp for the J J Crew because sometimes if it's a, a higher brand, I'll price it at twenty nine ninety nine. Or I I just listed a Giorgio Armani blazer for like thirty nine ninety nine. I don't try to go too high. Sometimes the comps are, you know, much higher. But at the end of the day, I'm just trying to get a good return on my investment. I'm not trying to bleed the customer dry. So that's why I'm okay with pricing. I only paid a dollar fifty. So if I get nineteen ninety nine for this, I will be definitely okay with that. That's a good return on my investment. Um, the next item that I found was this Michael Kors wool blend skirt. And I actually did not know this was a wool blend, um, so I'm very grateful to have picked it up because wool sells really well. Wool, cashmere, those all sell really, really well. And I found a cashmere little shawl. Now, the reason why I didn't get it, and it was like $2, the reason why I didn't get it was because it had a little bit of, um, I, I want to say, pulling on it. And I just, I try to get it in the best condition possible, so... This is 40% wool. And I paid, this was $2.99 with half off, so I paid $1.50 for this. And it's a size 8, I believe. So, Michael Kors, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get probably 20 to 25 and, and even if I get $14.99 for it, I paid $1.50. So, I've been, I have sold on Poshmark before. I actually sold maybe, I think I sold one item on Poshmark, um, the reason why I had stopped selling on Poshmark and took down my Poshmark um, app was because, you know, I was under the impression that you had to do a lot of social networking. And right now I'm selling on eBay and I'm selling on Amazon. So I don't have the time to really, um, I like to list it and leave it. But I think I'm going to try to um, dive back into selling on Poshmark. And just do a certain amount per month. Like maybe an extra 500 per month. Just see how that goes. So I picked up a few items for my Poshmark store. And I'm actually probably going to either cross list. Or I'm going to take some items down from my eBay store. And put them on Poshmark. Because I know that there's some people on Poshmark that will appreciate certain items. And are willing to pay the amount that is actually worth a resale value. And so it, with eBay, it's a little bit tricky because sometimes you will get lowball offers. Like if if I already have it priced at $19.99 and it's like a $50 item, if you're offering me $5 and $10, you know, I'm just going to probably, you know, move forward with another buyer because I know the value of that item and so do you. And so I just want people to be respectful of, 
the value of the item and not try to lowball a, a seller, okay? So I found these four items for my Poshmark closet. Now, I typically wouldn't buy wet seal because it doesn't, the resale value of it would be almost obsolete. Like, this is a very low cost brand. If you go on wet seal, you can probably find this for very cheap on clearance. So, I probably wouldn't necessarily pick up a wet seal item, but this is a blazer. And this was $2.99, so I paid $1.99 for it. It's just a small blazer that somebody wear. It'll be cute with like some jeans and maybe a pump with either red in it or you can even wear a black a black um, patent leather pump with this if you want to but the reason why i picked it up because they had two of the same blazers and so this was a dollar dollar fifty two it was two nine nine plus a fifty percent off they're both the same size so i'm going to list them as a lot i'll probably price them based off what the the, the completions are or i don't know maybe like twenty four ninety nine for both i don't know I think that's a good deal. I mean, you get two blazers, and um, and these are like the type of blazers that I actually am on the lookout for because it's a casual blazer. It's not too formal, and you can dress it up or dress it down. So I'm actually on the lookout for this for myself. But because I um because of my body type, I don't typically get buttons that fall like right in my you know on my in my um belly area. I try to get buttons that fall right underneath my chest, um because that that actually goes a little bit better with my body type. So I haven't found one yet. But when I do, or I'll get one with like rouging, you know, right there. You know, because, you know, you want to feel good when you put on an item. And so these two skirts I'm also going to sell as a lot too. And I hate that because I'm putting on Poshmark. I don't necessarily know um, what the trends are on Poshmark and um, how um, open a customer is to... Um, reselling with with certain items that maybe not have a tag or you know like maybe have a rip I know on eBay you can do that as long as you list it but I'm not as familiar with that on Poshmark but these skirts are actually in great condition it's just one of them is missing a tag and then one of them the tag is is coming off which I'll probably sew it back on definitely before I list it but this is an American knit pencil skirt and it's a very small very small um, size. These are smalls. And so they're like bodycon skirts, but they're knit. And this is the second one. And both of these were, this was $3.99, so it was $2. And the other one was the same, was the same price. And so I'm going to pair these as a lot. And I'll probably, I spent $4, so who knows, I'll probably price them at the same price as the blazers. This would actually go cute with the blazer if you think about it. So this paired with the blazer, this is cute. These two colors. So even probably with the blue. These are really cute colors. Trending right now, the Aztec um, abstract design. So these would be two good buys, you know, if you could. You know, if, if it's something that a customer likes, these actually paired together would be two good finds. So that is all that I purchased today. Nothing big. Um, I didn't find any like really great scores, but I did find enough to kind of, you know, somewhat replenish my store. So again, please stay tuned because I definitely will be back with some more hauls soon. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching.